Scotty McAlarney with us here on the John Mandola Show, Mid Valley Golf. Get a win to start the year. That's always yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a great start for us, especially with the new format. It's kind of cool. I told the kids it's a little trivia question now for moving through. We were the we were the first match of the season, us and Old Forge, and to get a win down there, they're tough. Joe always brings a good team, so it was cool. Let's talk about the new format for everybody. Yeah. Well, this was one. I played a, uh, a pretty big role with the coaches. There was a few of us. We, we were the ones that put together. Ryan from Riverside was one of them. And there was a couple other guys, uh, Ryan Kipper. Uh, we had uh, Jamie Adley, uh, Frankie Suma, Bobby Simons, along with, of course, our president, Chris Kiliani. So we put a lot of time into this. A lot of people don't realize that uh, to get where we're at now. So there'll be a little bit of, you know, uh, growing pains to this, moving from match play to stroke play. And then there's going to be even a little bit for the teams to, to know how to play. Mm -hmm. There'll be some strategy that we did in the past that we probably will do differently now. But I think in the end, it'll be good for our kids locally to, to, to be stroke play because we were the only uh, literally league in this area that was in Pennsylvania match play. Two seniors we just spoke to seem like great kids, great young men. They take their academics seriously. One's involved in every sport you can imagine. Yep. Uh, and the other one just seems like a great young kid too. Uh, talk about what it's like to coach those two and then the others in Mid Valley. Oh yeah, Adam, Adam's Adam been with me for two or three years. AJ's been with me for four years, both great kids. And, and I always say, I feel very fortunate. I'm coaching Mid Valley, this is my 28th year. So I've been around a lot of teams through the years. So. I feel very fortunate. We have uh, Chase Eshelman, another senior, um, uh, Sydney McDonald, uh, who's a girl player, who's a female player. She's playing on a, on a co-ed team, and she'll get her share of starts too. So she'll probably play like maybe uh, seven or eight positions and stuff like that. So uh, again, I'm very fortunate. We have a good team. We, we've made playoffs seven out of eight years. Last year's the first time we missed playoffs. So I think the kids are kind of hungry get back into it and I just think that we have the team now it's it's kind of a blend John of just uh, seniors and young so we do have you know it's it, it's a little bit uh, different to have that but even though we're young we have good senior leadership I, I think we'll be back in the mix now for playoffs tell us about the the home course well I'm partial <laughs> Scott Green's we this, this is ours my wife and I you know it's our, 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 our golf business but we um, it's a tricky course you have to know how to play it it, it's people look at the uh, yardage and and feel that they it's an easy course till you play it. Our greens are they're fast. They move fast. Uh, uh, our our guys take uh, really uh, good uh, care of the course. Um, we have you know defined fairways, but it's tight. So it's it's uh, I kind of equate it sometimes at a canoe club. You have to know how to play. It. If not, you're going to struggle. So the yardage, uh, I think sometimes it, it doesn't really hurt us. You know, what, what helps us, what's in our favor is course knowledge. You have to know where to be and what to hit. I'm sure there's some stress in owning a course, but at the same time, there's a lot of rewards and a lot of fun. And as you said, the coaching has got to be rewarding and seeing these young men or young women develop over the years. Talk about being you, what it's like. Uh, I mean, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, I love what I do. You know, I'm doing this a long time. It's well over 30 years as a uh, golf professional. So our academy's there. So I get to face kids. There's a young man you probably interviewed before from Riverside, Kyle Connor, and he's a student of our, our academy. So as, as we, the, the, the best rewarding part I get is seeing kids from other schools that I work with as their swing coach that now compete against us and to see how well they do as far as being uh, regional players and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's fascinating to me talking to a lot of these golf kids. Like, hey, how'd you get started? My grandpa. Mm -hmm. I, I just love grandpa yeah. stories. You know, my, my grandpa's kind of passed when I was like five. I didn't get that pleasure of having them in my yeah. life. But, you know, these guys, it's, you know, they're they're, they're grounding me. They're, they're helping me with my mental game. Um, there's still some some elder statesmen here that, that are helping these young men. Oh, yeah, we see. We see that especially at our course. Uh, that's probably one of the coolest things is to be given a lesson and look over and see a grandfather going out with a young man or a young lady to play. Or, or you'll see the sometimes four generations, great grandfather, grandfather, the father and, and the uh, child. Or, or sometimes the grandkid with, with uh, you know, the dad. So it's, again, it's rewarding, it's cool to watch. So I guess maybe because I see both sides of it, you know, it's kind of cool for me. 
but um, that's one of the, the coolest things is to see the, the older statesmen, as I like to call them, being with the younger kids, mentoring them early in their career. Mid Valley uh, doing so much with their sports programs. I'm sure they're, you know, it's exciting for these kids to see the other sports, but for golf, you know, they, they like being in the halls, they like their teachers. You know, I think that district is, you know, it's progressing in the right ways. Uh, talk what it's like to, you know, be a part of it, as you said, for so long and see some of the changes that have been made. Well, definitely saw changes, there's no doubt. I've been through six athletic directors. Uh, Tommy Nowakowski is our athletic director. He's been with us, I believe, 10 or 11 years. So I spent a lot of time with Tommy. By far, he is just one incredible uh, person. I don't even know how he does it because he's, he's just all over the place, but he's fantastic for the school. We have a great administration that is very supportive of our golf team, all the sports, all the sports, John. So I think, just as you said, like there has been changes. I've seen it. I've been to, I, uh, I'm an, uh, an alumni. I played football, baseball, and basketball for, for um, Mid Valley. And then coming back in and being a coach in the program for 28 years, uh, I have seen a lot and I have seen some great, great changes. All right, Scotty, good to catch up with you. Have a great year. Thanks, John. I appreciate it.